in a very, very uh, quick manner just to expose you to the idea and a different concept uh, that I would like to emphasize while I'm talking about first nursery and then I'll be talking about the grow out. And uh, the main take home message will be basically concept that you may want to consider and you will see that basically you can do it different ways but there are ways that can be uh, much more efficient in order to reach to the point that you want to get. One thing that is very important is the fact that what we do is for the most part is research but applied re research. Under this condition I can afford sometime pushing to the limit something that in a commercial setting you do not want to do. As mentioned earlier, um, you can work on R&D in a commercial setting and you can do different things there, but when you are producing shrimp and the bottom line is making the profit, you need to take this into account. So you will see we've been doing and monitoring excessive parameter just to better understand and better define the system requirement as it is associated to the target organism. As you will see that there are different components that you need to address. As the topic of this presentation is design and management of super intensive nursery system for the Pacific white shrimp little penelus vaname. I should say that great part of these uh, components can be also used for other species. There will be some modification that will be needed, but for the most part, they can work the same. I don't need to tell you that traditional shrimp farming, farming is greatly related, uh, uh, depending on water quality on the water exchange. This practice is not more, any more uh, a practice that can stay for a long period of time because of issues of sustainability and other issues associated with it. Raising SPF shrimp under biosecure condition with minimal water exchange can greatly improve shrimp farming sustainability. Earlier, there was a question regarding the issue, how about SPF or non-SPF? You will see later, one of the major advantage of working with SPF is your ability to target certain, certain traits in your shrimp that are conducive for growth or resistant to certain exposure of adverse condition, which are very, very important. So these are the criteria that you can achieve with SPF, but you cannot achieve with uh, uh, infected animals. In Ecuador, they grow animals that are not SPF. Nevertheless, these animals not necessarily being selected for what you want. And there are some drawbacks associated with it. You can grow a wide spot infected animals at high density if you keep them at a temperature about 32 part, uh, uh, Celsius degree. So there are different tricks that they are playing with, but nevertheless you need to remember when you are working with SPF you can bet, get the best out of the uh, system. So basically previous studies showed that you can grow shrimp with no water exchange or with limited... Uh,